again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can join the fun and paint along. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. All right, this week we are fast approaching Easter. We're hopping on over to Easter. <laughs> so we're gonna do a really cute bunny painting today. Cute little bunny face with a bow. We're gonna start with a really simple background today. And we're gonna use our four brushes that I use in most of my classes. So these four come in a kit. Your brushes don't have to be the exact same, but they should be generally the same shapes and sizes as mine and designed for a water media. So I have a large square three quarters inch wash brush, and then I have three pointed brushes and of different sizes. So I have a size 10, a size three, and a size three over zero. Uh, so I call these usually just medium, smaller, and smallest. We're gonna get those in our water cup off the side of the screen. And then for today's background, we are really gonna keep it simple. And I just need some cadmium yellow and cadmium orange along with some white. To see a full materials list of everything that I use and recommend, check the description box below and it'll take you to the materials page on my website. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in with the background step. So I'm gonna grab my large brush and I have just a little bit of water on my brush, always added into my paint. And I'm going to mix a little bit of white and I'm gonna have a super sunny pastel lemony yellow color for my background, very Easter. And I'm going to fill my whole canvas in with this bright yellow color. And sometimes I might mix in a little bit of orange as well. And I'm going to also mix my orange with white. And we're just gonna play around in the background here with these colors and get it all filled in and soaked into the canvas texture. I'm using a canvas board today. Boxed canvases work well too. Acrylic is a heavier body medium uh, designed for canvas rather than paper. So if you do want to stick with canvas, I like to use these flat canvas boards mainly because I have so many paintings in my closet <laughs> that this way they store flat. And honestly, I do paint over a lot. Dun, dun, dun. I know some people don't like that. Don't like to hear it, but I believe that art is really more about the experience, especially when I'm teaching with you guys. It's more about me making the video than the paintings themselves. And art is always worth it to do though. All right, getting that all filled in and I'm kind of throwing in a little bit of white here and there too, additionally so that I'm getting a little bit of different tones and colors, just making like a nice, interesting background. Nothing too tricky today. With the background, the bunny's fairly easy too. All right, and we wanna have all of our canvas filled in completely with these beautiful soft colors. Good practice here for your wrist, building up that dexterity that is so important in your art. All right, let's add a little bit of sort of maybe some orange here and there few brush strokes of a more saturated orange, just mixing it up, having fun. I know I paint quick. Everyone paints at their own pace. And that's what's great about the digital format here is unlike a real class where everyone needs to be done with one step before we can move on to the next one. Here we can paint at our own paces individually. And you guys get to see what the painting looks like when it's finished, which I don't even know yet. So you guys have that advantage on me. All right, let's go ahead now and let this background dry completely. And then we'll come back and add our adorable bunny. I'll see everyone in a few. 
Okay, welcome back artists. We have a completely dry background and some fresh colors on a new piece of palette paper. I have some cadmium red, a little bit of ultramarine blue, and some black and white. We are going to now jump into the main part of today's painting, which is of course our adorable bunny. Now I'm going to do a little bit of sketching, only it's not gonna be with a pencil. It's gonna be with a paintbrush. And I'm gonna use my second to smallest paintbrush for this. And I'm going to sketch with a little bit of white. And this is probably the most important part. So rally your strength. <laughs> and we are going to create our bunny. I'm going to start, I think, with the top of his head or her head. I'm going to do a half circle, rounded head. Maybe a little bit less than all the way a circle, but that's all right. If we go a little further down, we are going to adjust this as we fill it in. So it's okay if you have a few sketch lines. And then we're going to do some adorable little chubby cheeks. It's going to come out from the side. And you want to still have a little bit of space down here. And we're going to just come across curved here. Okay, and then the neck. Just like so. Okay, and you can adjust if you need to a little bit. And then I'm going to do the ears and then also the bow. So I'm gonna do the ears from the top of the head one at a time. And I'm going to bring this all the way up and maybe even slightly off of the canvas. And they don't have to be exactly the same because they can move them independently. So they kind of take different shapes and that's okay. I'm gonna do the bunny ears first, like so, and then the bow, I'm going to center that right in between the ears. So I'm going to do a quick little square, and then we'll do a little triangle bow shape, nice and big, very cute, coming out from either side, and there we have our main sketch. Okay, so now that we have our main shapes, we're gonna fill in these areas with their main colors. And I'm going to really quick, still with my white, do one more line here, just so we know where the inside of the ear is. So I did that right from the top and curving it down a little bit. So I actually have sort of like an oval shape here inside the ear. And I didn't bring it all the way down. I would keep going further down though, like that. But we're going to be painting our bow over it. So we'll just stick with that, what we can see. And now we're going to fill in each section with their respective main colors. I'm going to use my slightly larger medium-sized brush for this. And I'm gonna start right in the center here with some white, really simple. We're just going to fill in our face of our body and neck and the outside of the ears with this white. So white is paint that has no expensive pigments. So I use a lot of white and I use a slightly cheaper brand. If you're wondering why my white paint looks a little bit different, if you're using Grumbacher, it works great too, but if you paint like me, you may need an industrial size acrylic white paint. It's the only color that you'll usually see me see or use uh, unless I run out of paint and I have to run to Walmart. I live up very rurally, so there's actually no art supply uh, shop in town. But generally I use these 
more expensive pigments of the Grumbacher or another sort of mid quality paint for my colors. Because if you use really cheap paints, they never really mix the right color and they get really muddy. So I like to use nice paints with the exception of white. I'm using a lot of it today for sure. I tend to gravitate towards a lot of the sort of more pastel color themes. So I like a little bit of whimsy. All right, and I think I'll switch to my smaller brush to fill in up top. I'm gonna need more white because I'm going to be blending some colors with white as well. So let me grab that really quick. All right, always end up even using more than I think, which I think I'm gonna use a lot. All right, and keeping our outermost sketch line so that we don't see any more sketch lines once we're done with completely filling in out all of our shapes. Make sure that you're using enough paint so that you don't see your background. Okay, very cute. All right, and I think I'll go ahead and do my bow now, which I'm going to take this gorgeous ultramarine blue and add a little bit of white to that as well. I'm just gonna be filling in my main shapes. Just moved to a new house. There's all kinds of noises going on. <laughs> Sorry about that. I have a little place a few blocks from downtown and it's a little more hustly bustly than my previous apartment. It's a little echoey as well in here because I have tall ceilings here. But I will work on improving my audio. And because I was moving last week, I didn't get a chance to film during the weekend. So this is a weekday film. Hopefully it'll be a little bit quieter if I try on a Sunday morning. Usually have pretty good luck with that. Sounds of the city adds perhaps just a little ambiance. All right, I'm filling in my light blue, also keeping my outermost sketch lines. And even though my whole bow is blue, I'm not going to fill it in like with brush strokes all going back and forth or all different ways. I'm going to keep my brush strokes going in the direction of the shape. And I'm also going to, even with the blue, start to differentiate between the shapes. So you can see how the square there, I filled in square. And then with these ones, I'm kind of fanning out my brush strokes. I did the same thing down here with a little bit of roundness in the cheeks and also a brush stroke there with just the paint, differentiating between the chin and the neck. Every brush stroke matters. It's a, the sum of its parts, a painting is. All right, last color here for our main shapes is going to be a light pink. So I'm just mixing my red with my white and I'm going to come in here to the inside of the ears for my last section. And it's looking very cute already. With these colors, this is totally customizable too, which I should have mentioned probably before. But you could do, you know, of course, always you can mix it up. If you wanted to have a different color bow or a different color background or whatever you like. Okay, and I'm doing my best to Make a nice clean line where my pink and white meet. And on the outside of that shape there too, but I am going to be outlining things with black still. So 
So it doesn't need to be perfect at this step. Let me grab a little bit of white at my painting in particular, just needs a little bit of touching up right next to the ear inside there. And I'm trying not to pull the blue. All right, very cute. Okay, let's add a little tiny bit of gray fur texture. We really want to be sparing with this step and we also want a very light color. So much lighter than that first gray, mostly white. Just a tiny bit of texture here in the fur. And I'm going to come on the outside here and do just a quick little few brush strokes on either side, really very slight. Okay, and then I'm going to sort of visualize where the bunny's nose is gonna be. And do a quick little gray line so that I have a separation there. And then a little bit of gray coming from the top of the bow area and also coming from the side we're making our shape a little bit more 3D by adding these brush strokes to the outside shapes, outside of the shapes. Okay, so we're shadowing it on the outside, but then we're also having a little bit of that furry texture that our cute bunny would have. And a few little brush strokes on the top of the ears too short, light texture, or pressure rather. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, and then I'm also going to grab a little bit of a darker blue. So I rinsed my brush. I'm coming in with mostly this ultramarine, a little bit of white. And I'm going to do an additional section here of the bow. So I have a little top oval, making that look a little more 3D. Okay, pretty simple step, just a few brush strokes. And I'll take this blue and go on the outside of my little square shape as well. Cute, if you need. You might need a little bit more blue or like a second coat of color in any area so that it's not see-through. But we're going to now step away for one more half second and let this layer dry so that we can come back and finish everything off with the final details. Okay, so I'll see everyone in another couple minutes. Okay, and we're back with the final step. Everything's going to come together so nicely. All right, let's grab our second to smallest detail brush or the very small detail brush if you would prefer. I'm gonna use this guy and we're going to do our final touches now. So let's start with a little bit of pink for our cute little bunny nose. So I'm gonna go right underneath where I did my little gray and I'm going to do a pink V. And the bottom is going to be slightly curved. Right, like a boomerang shape. Okay. Cute little bunny nose, check. Let's grab some black. We're gonna be doing a few things with black. I'm going to start with our outlining. So the first thing I'm going to do is a black line right underneath my pink boomerang. And then I'm going to do a very skinny line that comes down from there. And then once I get about halfway down that remaining little section, I'm going to do a flare out. Like so. Okay. 
cute. And I'm gonna grab my black and start to outline the outside shapes as well. A little bit of water always helps the paint go nice and smooth. And it's okay to go over your lines a couple times, but not to the point of where you get really thick. But if your lines are too thick, you can grab some white and thin things out again. Okay, just like so. And we can go ahead and outline our whole bunny shape. So that line got a little thick, but I might touch things up a little bit later. While I have the black on my brush though, might as well do quite a bit of outlining. And this is also our chance to sort of refine the shape, correct it if needed. And I'm going to just go right on up into my bow as well. And outline that shape too curved lines, but a square shape. And then remember we had our dark blue little oval. So we're going to actually outline that. And the outside shape of the rest of the bow. Okay, don't forget your little differentiation and shape there. Okay, it really helps it look more 3D. A little heavy handed with that line, but that's all right. This is pretty dark back there. Okay, super cute. <laughs> I think we should go ahead and add the eyes right now too. With our black, a little bit more. Oh, I'll line the ears. I can't decide what to do first. Lots of areas to refine with this black. If your bunny looks different than my bunny, or if you're doing this in a group and it looks different than your neighbor's bunny, that's okay. Okay, remember this is not a Photoshop contest. Photocopy contest. We're not going for photorealism. <laughs> We're not going for who can paint it just like the teacher, you have your own artist style. And I also have now over 20 years of painting experience. And I try to make these really simple for us. The uh, most common comments I get, other than just thank you, <laughs> which I appreciate always. You're welcome and thanks for being here. I get a lot of comments about things being too simple too easy, not realistic looking enough, or the complete opposite, and this is too hard, and you went too fast, and I got lost, and I cried. <laughs> and I, it, we're all at different levels, and it really is sort of a matter of practice. Okay, so don't think of it as something that you're just either good at or you're not. It's like learning to play an instrument, or learning yoga, or dance. There is a little bit of natural talent involved. Mostly it's passion and practice. Okay, so don't beat yourself up. Be nice to yourself. If your bunny doesn't look just like mine, it's okay. Let's do a little bit of highlights too. I'm going to grab a very light blue for the highlights in my bow. And I'm gonna do a quick little swipe to accentuate the curves of the bow. And I'll also do a quick swipe in the knot part. Cute. See how simple things are to just come together. Let's grab our black again for the eyes, which is probably the most important part when we're doing paintings of living things. All right, so I'm gonna kind of visualize a curved line. 
connecting these parts here because this is the top part of the bunny head and then here's his chubby cheeks. So we want to do the eyes in the top part and we want to have them like the same distance apart. So I'm going to start with a little curved line right along that sort of imaginary line. And then I'm going to do an oval shape coming up. And I have a little bit of line still on the outside edge of the eye. as part of the shape. Okay, pretty cute. So we have the oval for the top and then a sort of curved but flatter line here at the bottom. All right. And there's a little bit of shadow for like the eye socket. Creating that little extra line goes further back. And I'm going to fill that in with black right now too. Pretty cute. And then suddenly we have a bunny looking at us. <laughs> All right. And I'm actually going to go a little bit more black. We'll go ahead and add the eyelashes too. And I'm thinking I need a little bit more of a shadow underneath the nose. So I'm kind of jumping around here, but bear with me. When you see something need that needs doing, you just got to do it. I'm going to do a little tiny brush stroke. I think this would also probably be wise to use the tiny brush for this step. I'm really used to using this brush. I kind of prefer it. I'm going to do a little swoop out for the eyelashes. Two eyelashes on each side. Little curved brush stroke. There at the end. So cute. <laughs> I like it. All right, and then of course we got to add the whiskers and we'll also add a little sparkle in the eye as well. Let me grab a tiny, tiny bit of black. I'm going to do just a few little tiny fur brush strokes right where the bow is kind of crimping the fur there. And also, I think I'll do a black line here on the top of the nose. And I'm also going to add some adorable freckles and some whiskers. So I'm going to do the freckles first. I'm just going to do these little dots right in the cheek. And you could add these with the back of your brush too if you wanted. Okay, just kind of a random number. Whatever you end up with. And it doesn't have to be the same on either side. And then I'm going to, with that black and a very, very light hand, Going to add a few whiskers. And this would also again be a step where you may want to use the even smaller brush. I'm almost thinking it's time for like a brush upgrade because the tiny brush carries a drip with it every time I use it. <laughs> it's making me crazy and I might need to do individual brushes rather than the kit, but we'll see. And same on the other side, so we have a curved line coming right into those little freckly area areas on either cheek. Okay, and just a few on either side. Cute, and we're going to have them and a little bit different lengths, but generally the same length. So cute. All right, and then with some white, I'm gonna do a quick highlight on top of those, and we're mostly just gonna see that highlight 
against the black and against the background. And that is okay. Okay, very cute. It's a graphic design trick. Black and white lines together, stacked on top of each other. Always look a little more bold than if we were to just use one or the other color. Cute. <laughs> All right. And I'm gonna bring my bunny's mouth all the way down here. And it was a little bit wonky. So I'm actually going to bring a line further down and then I'm going to rinse my brush and grab a little bit of white. And like I mentioned before, you can slim things out a little bit with some white again, if you need to, anywhere that you feel like you got a little too heavy handed. And that is a step that your painting may or may not need. And then our final step will be a twinkle in the eye. I'm going to just grab some white. I'm going to do a quick oval shape in both of my eyes for that final little super important touch. Cute. You can put any other final touches that you'd like on your painting. I think I might even add one more whisker coming further down a little bit on either side. Gotta keep it balanced. Okay, if you painted along today, I would love to see your work. And I've created a Facebook group called the Art Club where you can share pictures with me of what you painted. I'd love to see when you guys are painting in groups or just by yourself. Uh, you can also share other art too. It doesn't have to necessarily be the art that you did painting along with me, but we'd love to have you over there. There is no way to share photos here on YouTube. So that's why I made that free group for us. And there's a link below in the description box. Lots of good stuff in the description box for you guys. And I'm just kind of adding any final little corrections or details that I might want. But I think my bunny looks pretty cute. I'd love to know what you thought of today's painting in the comment section below. And I can't wait to see your bunnies hopping on over to the art club. <laughs> all right, so thank you so much for watching and for painting along. That is all the instruction that we have for this week. So happy painting, happy Easter, and until next time, stay creative.